see the criminalization of nonviolent, peaceful civil disobedience. I have three children under the age of 30. None of them vote. Another option on the, uh, every ballot that says none of the above. Right. And once you start getting none of the above being elected in several rights, you don't realize what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's last year's question. Yeah. Yeah. I hope people now realize that we're actually very practical and that our ideas come from evidence-based research and the best public policy solutions. If people have made the assumption that we're a one-issue party, they'll be surprised by finding out that we're not. What do you think the decline in oil prices is going to mean for BC's LNG industry? Well, isn't it an interesting question? The decline in oil prices, we don't know how long it will last. A lot of it is being manipulated by Saudi Arabia pumping up production and undercutting the non-conventional oil, bitumen, uh, which is a, a very you know, intensive energy and water project to get bitumen out of the ground, you can't, you can't make a profit at that when, when the price of oil has dropped below $50 a barrel. So for the LNG plays, it has the same kind of effect. I mean, it's going to shift the economy. I believe it's going to shift the economy, strangely enough, away from investments in the unconventional products. And BC LNG is not conventional natural gas. It's all about fracking. And I think that the, the declining price is going to undercut LNG and unconventional fracked gas. You say that that oil price decline is good or bad for the environment as a whole? It's a, it, 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 a two-edged sword. It's going to be good for the Canadian economy overall because it's going to help manufacturing, it's going to help uh, value out of exports, it's going to help tourism. It's a good teachable moment to remind people that putting all our eggs in the bitumen basket economically was never good economic policy, much less good environmental policy. What's the one question reporters should ask you that they haven't? It's a good question. I think it's probably uh, why do we think that we're going to be able to be a balance of power in the next election? We think there's going to be likely a minority parliament, and the reason that it's very important to elect a lot more Green MPs is the more Green MPs there are, the greater the potential for our parliament becoming more cooperative. And regardless of what party has the most seats, we don't think any of the parties is going to have the majority of seats. So enough elected Greens are going to force the kind of cooperation that Canadians want the party that comes closest to forming government, with our help they'll be able to govern as if they had a majority, as long as they uh, follow through and eliminate first past the post and have a real climate plan.